Ah, there we go. Just finishing up my makeup before my video chat. Oh, hey, it's the Estes Valley followers. Um, my name is Karen, and I am part of the program team at the Estes Valley Library. And today I'm going to talk to you about some tips and tricks about video chatting. Using your web camera as a mirror is probably not the best idea for video chatting. So I wanted to add a little of my humor to the, today's topic. So video chatting, what is that all about? Well, today in our social distancing world, feeling a little lonely, maybe some people are texting, uh, maybe people are, um, you know, doing old school, calling moms and dads and things like that. Um, but I wanna hang out with my friends and I wanna see them and I wanna maybe see their dogs again and try and, and get connected that way. So, uh, Let's see here, some tips and tricks before we get started. I'm, I'm gonna focus on two um, uh, video chat platforms today, and we're actually gonna make some um, impromptu phone calls to some people that are um, at home right now from the program team. So making sure that when you, I have my little list over here, uh, video chatting can happen on a phone, and it can also happen on a web camera on a computer. Um, so the first uh, thing is just to make sure that you're, you're not all over the place and making sure all your vis viewers are getting dizzy. Um, one of the things that as we're making all these Facebook Lives, we want to make sure that our, our web camera is stable and secure. Um, we don't want to have the background all lit up. I've got a couple windows here that are looking right at me, so I want to make sure that the lighting is really good and not sitting with my back towards a window and have lots of bright lights or having the camera of my phone looking up at me and then a giant light behind me um, so that my viewer is distracted by that. Um, and then one of the, my favorite things is to look at myself. Wait, I'm supposed to be looking at my web camera, so I'm looking directly at you, but if I look at the screen, it's a lot more fun for me and I'm having a hard time right now deciding which is I'm going to be looking at. Um, so that's a little tip about using the web cameras and things about, um, you know, about using your phone and things like that, too. So let's go ahead and I'm going to talk first of all, let me make my screen bigger over here so I don't have to pull out my glasses. Um, I'm going to do a, a Google Hangouts. So Google Suite, we've heard about Gmail, we've heard about you know, why don't you just Google it? Um, and so Gmail is a great interface. You can have your um, an email set up. You can use Google Docs. You can have spreadsheets. You can use Google Photos. And one of my favorite features, especially in the last two weeks or so, has been a feature called Google Hangouts. And that is accessed, like I said, through your Google Suite. You would need to make a Gmail account if you don't already have one, even if it if you have like a Gmail account that doesn't look like it has Gmail at the end. So like with our Estes Valley Library emails, it has those are through a Gmail. Um, so you might already have a Gmail account and might not know it. You would know it because it has a nice little G at the top when you open up your email. And then when you have that email opened up, you'll look to the far right and you'll see a bunch of gray little circles and you'll open that up and you'll see what looks like. I'll show you here on my phone. If I can find it. Here it is. Way down in the corner. That's what Hangouts looks like, and you'll be able to find that chat window. You can use Hangouts through your computer, your desktop, if you have a webcam, and you can also use it through your phone if you have an app. So I'm going to click on this little app here. It's all backwards right now, so I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to see, hopefully this person is available. Um, there's a chance I can chat and I can text, I can share pictures, but then there's like a little phone here. So hopefully this person is open and ready. Let me put it, make it a little louder here. So here's what I'm looking at, looking at you. That's what the screen looks like. Uh oh, maybe she didn't get the message that uh, 
she's supposed to pick up her phone right now. Oh, that's the great feature of live TV. I might call somebody else from the program team and see if they're available. Let me take a screenshot of that so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to hang up on her. Oops. Let's see here. Let me hang up. Let's take a look at what that screenshot, that's a beautiful picture of me. Um, so you can see what that looks like. So there's the person that I was calling. And then there is, I can mute myself. So if like I've got a lot of background music or, uh, you know, like dogs barking and things like that's going on. And then here's that same little red button that you would see if you got an incoming call that you would answer. And then I could turn off the video if I wanted to. So like, I don't know, maybe, if you're having a conversation across the room and everyone's looking up at your chin and your phone is down or something like that, I can turn that video feature off. So let me see, make sure I hit all those people. The one, um, we're using video chat um, with the library um, staff. So if you haven't looked on our website or our Facebook site recently, you would see that they have, um, we have a nice big, uh, it's kind of like the Brady Bunch, the six of us that are working on all the programming for you guys. Um, we use Google Hangouts a lot. So you can have up, I learned yesterday, up to 10 people on that call. Um, so that's cool. So I've got another person I'm going to try, and we're going to use the, what's called FaceTime this time. Let me show you. FaceTime is the screen guy. Oops, it's backwards for me. The screen one over here, and FaceTime is connected to an iPhone. So if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or a tablet, then um, like an iPad, um, yeah, uh, you would be able to use that um, to do any FaceTime calling. Um, I had a friend use it, her daughter used it to call her cousins, and they had a play date um, not too long ago. So they had a nice tablet, so they had a nice big screen for it. Um, so unfortunately, it doesn't work with any of the Android devices. So that's why I wanted to share that Google Hangout for you. Um, you might have to um, engage FaceTime if you've never used it before. So you would just go to your, um, under settings, you would see FaceTime and then you would toggle the on piece. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, let's see here, make sure. Okay. So this is what FaceTime looks like. And way up in the far corner here, you see a little plus sign. And you can start typing away, and that's who is going to be in your call. I learned yesterday as well when I was researching for this class, you can have up to 32 people on a FaceTime call. Uh, that's a lot of people. I've only done it with one person. So I'm not sure how 32 people would look at my tiny little screen. So maybe this person is available. So you can hear it's ringing. Maybe you recognize the name. He just did a uh, program not too long ago. Oh, oh, hey. Hello. Oh, there you are. It's kind of weird to hold the phone and show you at the same time. So. Hopefully you guys know this is Chase. He's our children's librarian. And uh, let me, I'm going to do a, I'm going to turn on a feature here that the Hangouts also had, and it flips the screen around so he can see, oh, that's not the way I wanted it to do. I wanted it to go this way. You are on TV and I'm on TV twice. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Don't get trapped in a TV tube. No, I tried that yesterday and it didn't work so well. So. Chase, I was wondering if you could show us where all the uh, programming that you're doing takes place at, at your house. Yeah, um, let me let me do that flip myself here. Show you. This is my little dining room table that's been converted into a story time station. Nice. Got my microphone here. So this usually sits on top here to be at eye level. Right. And um, just got all my, yeah, you know, some stuff. Pete the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Craft goodies over here. And this is my like little uh, prop display here. Nice. 
That's great. Because so. <laughs> you've been hosting story times, right? Yep. And, you know, craft activities and stuff. There's my dog. Okay. Canine coworker. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Cool. So you can see me and way up in the corner here. Um, if I wanted to, I could turn my camera off and then it's just Chase's face. Like I said, maybe there's something going on in the background that I don't want to see. And then the, another cool feature with uh, FaceTime is I can take pictures. Um, so if maybe I wanted a new contact picture for Chase or something like that. Um, and then I can also mute him or is it mute me? I can't. Can you hear me? No, it must be muted. <laughs> Yeah, so I muted my I muted myself. <laughs> I muted myself, so now he couldn't hear me for a second, and now I can hear him. So, very cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna let you get back to whatever it is that you're doing to spend your day. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. All right, bye. bye. Cool. So that was FaceTime. Um, a couple other programs that I've done a little bit of research on is Skype. Um, that is through the MSN platform, and I actually don't have a Skype account, and I couldn't find anybody that had a Skype account um, that I could Skype with, but it's basically the same thing. Um, in the comment section, I am going to leave a tutorial on Skype because it was way better than I think I could have done it justice. Um, and then a couple other programs, uh, video chats that you, uh, you totally could use is a Facebook Messenger has a video chat feature. And then if you've heard of WhatsApp, WhatsApp also has video calling. And then a new app that I just learned about um, from my millennial friends is an app called House Party. And you would make a profile and you would be able to um, touch base with people that are around the area or if people are online or something like that. It shows you how you, know, you can get connected that way too. So. Um, also in the comments, I'm going to leave a leave a copy of the um, little tips that I just went over right now. And then I'm also going to attach an article that went over some of the pros and cons of video chatting. Um, I found some great, um, you know, which ones are better for which things that you're using. If you wanted just to hang out with your friends for a game night versus having a more serious work conversation and things like that. Some of them allow screen sharing um, and some of them allow just for you to sit and visit with your friends. So if you have any other questions or comments um, regarding either this program or anything from the library, answers at estesvalleylibrary.org is um, staffed during um, our normal business hours. And you're able, uh, we have a new feature on our website. It's a chat. So if you went to estesvalleylibrary.org website, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, there's a chat feature. So you can chat with um, any of the librarians that are working during their shifts. Um, also wanted to promote our con continuously growing digital library. Um, I believe we're gonna be pu putting out a program on how to use that digital library, I believe early next week. I can't remember the actual dates and times. And then the best, program that I think I'm going to host this week is tomorrow morning. Um, get your coffee and get your kids together. We are going to host a live birthday party for Rudy. Um, Rudy is the school district therapy dog. And so I'm going to join, Hannah's going to join with me and we're going to ho have a birthday party for Rudy. He turns one years old tomorrow and that's going to be at 9 a.m. You can get the link for, that's going to be a Zoom party. So you can get the link for that at our website. So again, if you have any questions for us, you can leave in the chats. If you have any comments for how the programming is doing, if you have ideas for programming, maybe you've seen some other libraries that are hosting some stuff, um, more than happy to look into that for you guys. So hope you have a great afternoon. Maybe I could see you walk in the lake um, this afternoon or just outside enjoying um, a little bit of the sunshine as it comes and goes through the clouds. All right, you guys have a good day.